India has one of the largest and youngest smartphone connected populations in the world. But India also has one of the lowest credit card penetration rates in the world. Combine these two facts and you can understand why mobile payments are booming in India. For context, the value of mobile payment transactions is equal to roughly 15% of India's GDP. And amongst the many players in the market, PhonePay is the leader processing roughly $1.5 billion worth of payment transactions every month. So what is PhonePay? PhonePay is a digital wallet and online payment platform founded in India in 2015 by current CEO Samir Nigam and two others. It currently has more than 300 million registered users making transactions across the country, meaning one in five Indians uses PhonePay. While the COVID-19 pandemic and demonetization have had a role to play in boosting digital payments in India. There are other, more deliberate reasons why digital payments have taken off. And one of these key reasons is the heavy investment by the Government of India and the Reserve Bank of India into what's called a Unified Payments Interface or UPI. UPI lets people link their bank accounts to their phone numbers through these payment apps. This payment infrastructure, which is simple to understand and easy to use, has helped make payments cashless as well as hassle-free. PhonePay is a key beneficiary of this interface and contributes roughly 45% to UPI payment transaction volume. Some other reasons for PhonePay's success are that it has focused on penetrating the Indian heartland and has taken its products to rural areas especially to low-income groups. Given that 60% of India's population lives in rural areas, this move has helped PhonePay target the masses. In fact, 80% of PhonePay's transactions are generated by users from Tier 2 and beyond cities. Second, PhonePay has made digitizing merchants, SMEs, and Kiranas as a large part of its strategy. It has acquired more than 20 million offline merchants as part of its network across 11,000 towns and talukas in India. Simply put, the more merchants PhonePay acquires, the more options it's able to give its customers and as a result, the more customers are attracted to its platform. Third, PhonePay is an extremely innovative company and has introduced financial services like mutual funds and insurance schemes to make its ecosystem even more sticky. It has also introduced features that allow customers to chat with each other as well as to discover merchants and SMEs in localities near them. Another interesting reason why PhonePay became so successful was its strategic decision in its early years to be acquired by Indian e-commerce giant Flipkart. A large part of PhonePay's initial growth came from Flipkart as it was able to leverage on Flipkart's existing customer base and online dominance to build an edge. Interestingly, PhonePay was recently spun off from Flipkart as its reliance on the company has reduced from 50% of monthly transactions to just under 1%. This spin-off allowed PhonePay to raise fresh funds and has also allowed the business, which is valued at $5.5 billion, to grow more independently. In light of this, PhonePay has opted to pursue an open platform strategy, which enables the company to integrate with third-party websites and mobile apps in order to allow its customers to make purchases without ever having to leave the app. Imagine. If you could pay all your bills, transfer your money, book a cab, shop for clothes, or purchase mutual funds and insurance schemes, all through a single app, well, that is PhonePay's key value proposition, a one-stop shop for all your transactions. PhonePay does face significant competition from Google Pay and Paytm, which are the second and third largest players in India by payment processing transactions. However, with its strong mass market dominance, innovation, and unique open platform strategy, PhonePay is in a good position to succeed over the long term.